Can mama have it? Can mama have it too? No. <laughs> I think she's getting a bit jealous that I'm actually <laughs> touching her teeth or something. And now her whole cheek is red, but who cares? Hi mama, this is a such desired video i wanted to record it for such a long time it's about our favorite teasers not only hers but mine too and we have pretty neat a lot of them so today will be a small review on how she plays with them and what are actually her favorite ones let's go You absolutely don't have to have so many toys, teethers, and in fact, most of these toys were present. And she has only a few from this pile that are her favorite ones and that she really loves playing with all the time. We introduced the teethers to her when she was just born and the whole purpose for this was number one, I wanted to develop her grasping uh, skill and reflex as soon as possible. And number two, uh, we did not use a pacifier and I didn't want to use it. So a teaser was a, our sort of a pacifier and uh, we were really happy that we could eliminate the pacifier and um, you know, instead give her teethers, which she loves now and she is not attached to them as she probably would uh, be to a pacifier. Oh, okay, okay, that's enough for now. Jeez, come on. Don't make me put you under warm water. I give up. The problem was that most of the teasers are like this, uh, this, or this, which is probably big for a newborn because she was never able, of course, to lift this thing up and they were kind of heavy. So the challenge was to find something small, soft, uh, that was easy to, uh, to, to take in, in the little hand and squeeze and all that. So but we managed to do it. And here's our pick on these teethers that are exactly for this uh, purposes. Nicole is seven months. Most of her teethers, she has a, a, a red lipstick on her cheek. Most of her teethers, she's been uh, having since like her birth. And this one actually is her very first little teether. She was a newborn when she had it. And I think it's still one of her favorite ones. The reason why I loved it, because it is so soft. Number one is a rubber fish. Yes, I mean, this is a bath toy. <laughs> her first, one of her first and the most loved teethers is a bath toy. I mean, it's just so loved that I had to get another one for her and I have them in two different colors. They are soft, she can uh, maneuver with them as much as, as she wants and how she wants and they are safe to chew on, you know, and take it. She she's of course taking it in, there, in her mouth. So this is a great teether to have because it's not only for her whatever she needs to do down there but it's also develop it also develops her little fingers because uh, as you can see it has a, a surface like that and it's just uh, very I think uh, amusing for her to play with it so this is number one number two is famous Sophia the draft company and we have actually the smallest one I know they have the ones that are bigger and uh, I think I have a whole variety of these teethers, but this was uh, the one that was a perfect size for us and she still plays with it and I think it's a great one because she can grasp it like this, she can grasp it like this, even like this when she was little. So it's, I think it's a very uh, good teether to have. So this is number two. Number three, and this was a set and it's a set of different fruits like this i think i had a strawberry but i don't know where it is right now but anyway she just loved this ones because they are so easy to hold right here and it has a whole 
like it's like a flower petal thing and what I love about it is that it has you see different uh, surfaces over here which is also great for her fingers because she constantly touches on this and when she chews on this I'm sure it also gives a different feeling or something so this one is a round orange and pineapple grape and I had a strawberry so this is number three <laughs> Munch mitts. Yes, you heard it right. You actually put it on her, your baby's hand, and this way the baby does not suck on her finger, but uh, it does on here instead. It, it all happened when I realized that she's really sucking her thumb or her other fingers and I did not want for her to get uh, a habit, to develop a habit of this, so I really started researching and found this one. I did not use it anymore because I think they actually uh, prevented that habit of sucking uh, on her thumb or something like on her direct hand and now she doesn't really have a problem with it. So now she just simply, when she sees this, she simply takes it like this and plays with it like, you know, like it's a toy. Number five, anything, and I mean it, any teether from the Pigeon Company. This is a Japanese company and uh, I, di I discovered it when my uh, mother gave me as a present uh, one of their teethers, which looked like this. This is such a great thing. You guys have just no idea how great it is. It is. It was exactly what she needed because it was light, soft. She could grasp it like this when she was just very little. It has totally different surface here. Another uh, surface over here so and plus it was like a rattle too so there was just so many things in this one that still it is her favorite teether you give her this teether and she's there for 30 minutes doing this just this playing with this toy interacting with this toy sucking on this toy making like this you you name it she does it for like 30 minutes so anytime she's fussy or anything i just give her one of the scissors another one is like this it's very very similar to this one uh it also has some rattle things like rings like this but you can see that the shape is totally different but this is also their teether along as with this one another uh, rattle slash teether from pigeon and also the petal, famous petals, and very easy to grasp over here. This is also a pigeon. This one, I wouldn't say that it's her favorite one. She plays with it sometimes. Uh, I think it's just not comfortable to grasp this one for some reason, but she uses, a, she uses it as a rattle. And where was this one? This one, the one of her very first small teethers is this one as well. And I will leave all the links down below. You can still get it in the US as well because um, my parents brought it uh, to me from Russia, but I found them on Amazon and I'm actually ordering some of their other products as well. So yes, pigeon, great teethers. Other teethers she likes to play with, not so much suck on, but to play is Jellystone uh, thing over here and this one. She doesn't really use them as teethers because they are not soft. And this is why the teethers like this with uh, soft paddles or rubber fish like this, this is why they're a very good option for us because uh, I think her teeth are gonna pop up soon and so far her gums are just irritated. But this things that are not soft, I'm sure it's not very pleasant for her. So I guess here it is. This was our uh, review on the teasers that are our favorite ones and that she's enjoying to play with. And if you like this video, please like it or comment below on what are your favorite teasers and if you liked any of the teasers that I showed you, which ones would that be? Make sure to check out our new videos on uh, the room playroom update and another one is our baby development video where I record uh, everything that she can do at six uh, slash seven months old. It's a, a series of different videos and I think you'll really enjoy watching it because there's a lot of fun and cool moments over there. Thanks for stopping by on my channel. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video.